So I was traveling recently and I picked up some pens that you don't commonly see here in the US. And one of the ones I got was this Schneider Slider Rave XB. So that's the extra bold version of the Sli Schneider Slider Rave. This is a ballpoint pen, sells for, I don't know, maybe like two or three dollars. Uh, and it just has this like kind of cool swoopy design, uh, kind of this spoon-like clip metal end piece, uh, grippy rubberized ba uh, base, or body rather, uh, this thin waist tapers out in the grip area, and this contoured tip here it is a metal tip that you can open up. A lot of spring action there. It's a ballpoint pen, uses this G2 style cartridge, and it has this, uh, what Schneider calls there, uh, 755 XB cartridge with the Visco Glide ink system, stainless steel tip. It's for documents, not shocking. The uh, basically the selling points of this pen are the XB, so it's a 1.4 millimeter line, a quick drying ink, waterproof ink, just like most ballpoints, and then uh, the Visco Glide advanced ink technology system which is designed for very smooth writing. Uh, as for the shape goes, this is a, a nice pen. It's comfortable to write with. I think it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, it's good for, uh, it's not the best evidence, but it's kind of good for flipping. It's hard for me to do with my injured thumb, but it's, it's nicely weighted. So if you are someone that likes to spin your pen, even if you're not very good at it like me, this is a good pen for that, just because it's nicely weighted. As for the writing, uh, let's see. It is a, I'd say a above par ballpoint. So this is the Schneider Slider Rave XB. So nice bold lines, good color, kind of a vibrant blue, uh, some nice saturation. It actually feels on the skinny side for a 1.4 millimeter. Uh, it doesn't feel like a big, hefty, slow moving 1.4 millimeter. So I actually had wish I had bought this in a, I don't know if they have it in a 1.0 or anything like that too, but it writes really nicely. Uh, the one thing I'll keep in mind is like, check out this 1.4 millimeter right here. And what do I have here? I had, yep. Here is uh, something that calls itself a 0.4 millimeter. We'll do that on the left. So again, these are 0.4, these are 1.4. And okay, yeah, are these ones thinner? Yeah, a bit. Is it three times wider on this side? Definitely not. So uh, the math here is always a little bit suspect. So just keep that in mind. This is 1.4 does not write like a 1.4. And this 0.4 does not write like a 0.4. Uh, you know, they both write towards like a, a 1.0 millimeter. So that's definitely worth keeping in mind. Uh, I also wanted to compare it to a, a more standard ballpoint. This is the Parker Quink Flow. So you can see the Quink, like these three, this is the line between the two. Basically, these three over here, nice bold lines, Quink Flow. Definitely a little bit cheap with the ink. So we can see that quink flow. And this is that Schneider and EI. Maybe not as huge as a difference there, but uh, writing, you could tell that Schneider has a pretty nice ballpoint. I'm not sure that the Visco Glide is a huge deal, but definitely gets the job done. Uh, so all told, I would say that this is a good pen for two or three bucks, but it's definitely not something you should be like taking a trip over to Europe for or like tracking down. It's like more interesting than it is special. And it's like, it gets the job done. And uh, you know, if you're interested, you can find them uh, on you know Amazon and uh, through, uh, I think some of the big office stores will have them. Sorry about that. But uh, you know, if you, you know, it's not like there's a big hole in your life if you haven't purchased one of these yet. I just saw it, which was interesting, and I was uh, curious about Schneider pens. So, definitely a nice pen, uh, but not setting the world on fire. 
but it definitely gets the job done, if that makes any sense. Uh, I had previously done a video on this Stabilo, Stabilo, whatever, exam grade, and I actually think that is the preferable pen if you're looking for an interesting ballpoint. But in a uh, retractable, this one's pretty fine, kind of uh, along the lines of like, a, you know, a Jetstream or something like that. So uh, yeah, that is the Schneider Slider Rave XB ballpoint. Pretty good, but not too special. Thanks for watching.